Now let's determine if there are any holes in the graph of the function. We've already found that there are two holes in the domain. Let's see if there's any holes in the graph itself. Okay, remember we did just factor a second ago this denominator. So I'm going to write this out where the denominator has been factored. Okay, the way you find holes in the graph is that you look for places where something might cancel, okay? Something like x plus 2 over x plus 2 cancels out. Well, if that were to cancel, that would leave me with 1 over x plus 3. Whatever it was that I canceled out, I will set that equal to 0. So off to the side here, x plus 2 is what canceled, so I'll set that equal to 0. I'll solve that to get x equals negative 2. That is the x value of the hole in the graph. To find the y value, I will plug this negative 2 into the simplified version of the function. Once I cancel something out, right, I must plug it into the simplified version. So 1 over x plus 3. x, we just said, was negative 2. So that's 1 over negative 2 plus 3. It's 1 over 1, which is 1. So there's a hole in the graph at negative 2 comma 1.